see a burette set up to let out a thin stream of water. Here you see a green balloon that's been charged with static. You can do this by rubbing it on your shirt or on your hair, but the idea is to get it full of electrons. Let's bring it next to the water stream and see what happens. I know what you're thinking, that is magical, but actually, it's just science. We can explain this. The answer lies in the structure of the water molecule itself. You see, water has two hydrogens and one oxygen. And these three atoms come together in a bent structure. You'll learn about how this happens in chemistry. And you can see here where the pen follows the line. That's, that's what I'm talking about with the bent structure. That's going to be critical to water's properties. These three atoms also are held together with what's called a covalent bond. Okay, this means that they share electrons. They don't share electrons evenly though. The oxygen actually pulls on the electrons a little harder than the hydrogen does. What this means is it actually collects some of the electrons that are being shared and holds them closer to itself, leaving it with a negative charge and the hydrogen with a positive charge. This is called polarity. The water is actually a polar molecule. If we bring this up next to the balloon, the polarity causes the oxygen to repel from the balloon and the hydrogens to attract to it because opposite charges attract. The positives attract to the negative balloon. This is what leads to each molecule pulling toward the balloon and making the stream look like it actually bends. It's just that electromagnetic attraction. How can we make this even better? Well, how about we do this in the dark with a black light? So what we've done is dissolve the highlighter in a beaker of water. And what you get under a black light is basically glowing water. It still has all the properties of water, except now it glows. Let's put it up next to the balloon and see what happens. Check out the instant replay. If you look close, you'll actually see water molecules swirl around the balloon as they travel down toward the sink. This was a surprising effect that we found really hard to reproduce. It's almost like the, the water molecules are orbiting the balloon. 